Hi everybody, today I've got a pretty random unboxing for you. With the main thing being a package directly from Funko. See, look, I told you. But before we get into that, we have a couple other packages I wanted to open up first. With this one here coming in from Clean My Brick. Normally they cater to Lego, but they said that they also really work well on Funko Pops. So this should be a lot of fun. And also they're not paying me to talk about this. They just sent it over and said, give us your honest review. And so I guess that's what we're doing now. And it looks like inside of here comes with like a bunch of extra attachments and a charger and then also this is what we're looking for. <laughs> Pretty fancy and now there is a giant red button which I'm guessing is what I'm supposed to press. Yes it is! I can feel it! This thing sucks! <laughs> and now I actually happen to grab two Funko Pops that were kind of dusty. One in box and one out of box. The first one that we've got here is the Hostess Moon Pie which I feel like has a little bit on top. Oh yeah, wow! I'm gonna be honest with you, a lot of my figures in box actually don't have that much dust because of course they are in box, they don't get it. So I had to find one that was out, but uh, yeah, that is definitely a lot cleaner. And I'm guessing what happens here is that the bristles kind of pick it up a little bit, then it really sucks it up. And now I wanted to take a look at the top of this Stan Lee box because it was way at the top of my shelf. And if you look at it from the side here, you can see it is much dustier than the front. And so for fun, I wanted to run one finger down this side yeah, wow. Okay, take a look at that. So there is just my finger running down it. Do you guys see that? There is a pretty big line of dust that I just removed. Now I want to try this side with the Clean My Brick. Alrighty, here we go. Ooh! Wow! Alrighty, you know what? Not too shabby and I believe... Yeah, there's no dust on the outside here. I was afraid that it was just gonna get like stuck to the bristles, but no, it seems like it went all the way in. And if you guys want to take a look, you can see it is looking a lot shinier on the top. So you know what? Out of 10 here, I'd give this like a solid 9 or a 10. I feel like it gets the job done. And a big place that I always have dust is like right across the front of the shelves. Oh, wow! Here, you know what, really quickly, let me show you guys too. I'm gonna pick you up for a second. Ah. Since when have you guys been on this side of the table? Anyways, take a look at this, guys. You see all the dust down there. We've got like Ron Burgundy with dust in front of him, but then take a look up here. It is much, much cleaner. And now let me show you guys with the Clean My Brick here just to see what it does. Okay, ready? Here we go, watch this. Oh my gosh, you can see it is such a nice color after you get the dust off and when you take a look on the end, I don't even see any dust or it all went inside. And now if I'm going to be honest with you guys, I don't actually know how much this retails for, but if it's like, you know what, under a hundred bucks, I'd say this isn't a bad deal. And so clean my brick, thanks for sending it over. Now next up here, I had these two things arrive in the mail. We have another set of Biddy Pops, which is actually some Harry Potter ones because I'm still missing one more figure till I have the set complete. And then I also got the Disney 100 Aurora, a really cool pop in person, especially because of the amount of detail they gave her with the glitter and I believe she also has some sort of a base going on here or maybe it's just that you can't see her feet and it's the dress. Yeah, that's what it is. But the way they did like the stars going around her is really well done. And I have really been enjoying the Disney 100 figures in general. So I think I'm probably gonna try to complete the set or at least get most of the ones that were released because they are way better than the normal pop for some reason. It could be the fact that they're going all out for the Disney 100 line or maybe it's just because they're newer pops than the ones that came out a while ago. So they really did take their time and update them. And then everybody, we've got the Biddy Pops and this is the Hermione box. So now let's open this thing up and hope that we can get Hedwig because it is the only one that I'm missing. Now, if you've never seen the Biddy Pops before, I've actually done a few videos on them, like complete videos that you guys can check out on the channel, but also they're just like tiny versions of Funko Pops that we've got in the past. And I think it is a really fun way to collect them if you don't have space for like every single character because they still have some pretty amazing detail. And the cool thing is they pop right out of their little boxes. Let me see if I can do that. There you go. That is Hagrid out. And you can see you can display them in box or out of box. And that's honestly why I think they're so fun. But anyways, there is a mystery aspect to them where every single one of these boxes comes with one that you don't know. And it's these four on the side here. And the only one that I need is Hedwig. So let's hope, fingers crossed, I do get that one that we can complete the Harry Potter set. It is. Ah, ha, ha, ha. I got another 
Fox. Like, come on, is Hedwig so much to ask for? It's no biggie, though. We'll get more of them in the future. And now, the next thing that I've got to show you guys is a U2s that just arrived in the mail, and it's actually the Jack Sucks at Geography one. Some of you guys might remember a little while ago, I've actually done a video with Jack Sucks at Life, but this one here is his Geography channel, where he, of course, talks about geography. This channel also recently hit a million subscribers, and I thought it was really cool that they were making a figure to kind of commemorate that, but then also, like, all of the videos they've done there. And something really cool about the sleeve is it's actually based on GeoGuessr, which I am a big fan of, but also it's a big part of that channel. And then when you take the sleeve off, oh, wow, yeah, this is a great one. Take a look at that. We'll pop it out of the box in a second, but I want to read the quotes first. It says, maps I find, insert adjective here, because that is also a big part of the channel. You guys should just watch it if you haven't, and maybe you're into geography. Even if you're not, he just makes it fun, you know? And then on the back here, it says, Jack Sucks at Geography is a geography pro, capable of naming all 197 countries of the world and even recognizing their flags, which is also a big part of the inside of the figure. When you open it up, it says, please don't ask me how to spell Kyrgyzstan. I don't know if that's spelled right, because if I'm going to be honest, I don't know how to spell it either. Oh, but then also taking a look on the inside here, it is just full of flags. So before I show you guys the figure, take a look at that. And I even see the Canada flag at the bottom there. And now everybody, here is the figure. It's got the million play button in the middle there. He's also got the San Marino and Seychelles flags in his hand. And then for the socks, that would be Liechtenstein and Barbados, I believe. Well, actually, I'll be honest. I know Barbados for sure. Liechtenstein is the one that's a little bit hard to see. There's a small amount of red sticking through. I don't know. Some Somebody let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. Oh, and then I'm also noticing now he's got the Jack Sucks at Geography merch on, and then he's also leaning right up against a globe, which I think is a really great figure. And since this is Jack's second figure, I kind of want to tease something about my second figure coming soon. Well, coming towards the end of the year anyways, and I believe I've told you guys about that, but let's just say it's something that a figure has never done before because it's like, uh, figureception. That's all I'm gonna say. And now everybody, it is time to crack open the package from Funko. And now when I had talked to them about it, the only thing that they told me about is that there's gonna be a t-shirt inside because they asked me what t-shirt size I wear. And then besides that, I have no clue, but I'm seeing something black light. Okay, now I think we should end on the Freddies. Let's take a look at the t-shirts first because they're kind of like on the outside here. And let's see what we've got going on with this one. Oh, you know what it is. Okay, this is crazy. So take a look at this. If you guys didn't know, a little while ago, I was on Funko's Fun TV. It's on their YouTube channel, and you can check out, like, them going around the world, as well as games and stuff like that. And I was actually the person for Canada, and so they sent over, check this out, a Fun TV t-shirt. Oh, and then on the back side here, it's got a Funko Entertainment logo and a Funko Staff logo on the side. Okay, this is a pretty crazy one. So Funko, thank you so much for sending this over. Oh, and it's even got a Funko logo in the bottom. Okay, some nice detail. And now what do we have for the other t-shirt here? Because it looks like there is, yeah, another. Oh, this is great. And now this one I've actually seen other people wearing if you've done Pop Around the World before. But take a look at this, guys. It actually says Pop Around the World. It's the logo they have in every single one of their episodes, and it's got Funko on the side here. Yeah, this is a really, really nice one. I'm definitely gonna have to wear this a bunch. Like, seriously, this is great. And actually, now that I think about it, this is a great time to talk about my Fun TV episode. If you haven't seen it, I'll link in the description down below. But anyways, let's get into the three Funko Pops that they sent over. And you know what? Since I don't know what they are, I was about to look at them, but let's do it like a mystery box where I show you guys first. And so let me grab this one here, and boom! What is it? It's... Oh! Freddy Funko is Macho Man Randy Savage. This is a great one, and also a figure you could only get over at Fun Days. I believe it would have been, yeah, 2022, so last year. And so I believe anybody that attended Fun Days that year actually got this figure, but a crazy, crazy one to have. And now I know the middle one there is the blacklight one, so we'll save that till last, and let's do this one first. Boom! What is it? Oh, it's another Fun Days one, and it's Astro Boy. Or actually, this one here is the Atomic Freddy. But yeah, this is another really great one. They've actually made a couple t-shirts similar to this one, and I believe I had a long sleeve. Oh, I did have a long sleeve. It was kind of like a Japanese-style Freddy on the front with the text going down the arm, but I got a Tide Pod in the wash and when I tried to take the Tide Pod out it ripped the sleeve. It's just so annoying. I don't really know how it happened but whatever. At least I've got this one now to kind of like remember that shirt you know. And well anyways let's get into the last one here which is do 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 do. Oh nice. 
It is the Fright Night Freddy 2 from Fright Night New York. Wow, this is a great one, limited to 1,700 pieces. And so Funko, thank you so much for everything. And anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode because that is pretty much everything from me and I'll see you tomorrow.